Hey guys, so it's been a while since I last posted a video. That's just because it's too cold in the Northeast, so I've kind of pivoted from working on cars in the garage to messing around with these Milwaukee M12 batteries. These are aftermarket ones from Vannin, and they're all used. They all have their own sorts of problems. I just wanted to break them apart, see what's wrong with them, and if it's worth your time or worth your money to even buy any of these. So let's go, let's get started with what I have. This guy right here is an old first gen Milwaukee M12 1.5 amp hour battery. Has LG batteries. Um, it's constructed with 0.25 millimeter nickel strip and it's a 20 amp hour continuous discharge according to the spec sheet. It's a nice beefy battery. I don't know what's actually wrong with it, but the voltages check out fine, the thermistor checks out fine. And these are all the Vannin batteries. So for the ones that wouldn't charge, I kind of broke it down to the BMS wire right here, actually snapping off the PCB, and then the M12 charger couldn't read the voltages of the batteries and then deem the battery bad. The PCBs are actually fine. The, th the thermistors right there, uh, it's this guy right here, is perfectly fine on all of them. So yeah, it's just the BMS issue. Um, then there are others, I'm guessing, the voltages check out fine, but I'm sure they just don't hold a very good charge because the cells are bad or whatnot. So these two right here are advertised as 3.5 amp hour batteries. They are certainly not. They use EVE ICR 18650-15P batteries. Those are 1.5 amp hour batteries with a 20 amp continuous discharge rate. I haven't taken them the I haven't taken the battery packs apart to see the uh, <coughs> the rating of each cell, but there might just be a battery life issue on these. These two right here are advertised as 2.5 amp hour batteries, and that's actually accurate. This one that I took apart had the BMS issue, but the cells inside are actually perfectly fine. So if you look right here. That's the internal resistance of each cell, and that's the capacity of each cell. So they're rated properly, and the internal resistance isn't too high. The issue with these cells is they have a 7.6 continuous discharge rating, or 7.6 amp discharge rating. It's way too low for a power tool, and basically it's only good for your Milwaukee M12 flashlights. Then I have this guy right here, which I've also taken apart. It's advertised as a 2.0 amp hour battery, and I'm currently testing them on my Zanflare C4 charger. This is the internal resistance on two of them, 58 and 92, and then 64 on the third one. So much higher than these. And this, I've, I'm doing the analysis, so it's a discharge charge discharge charge cycle and this battery completed it in 50 minutes which is not good and the charger says that it has a 42 milliamp capacity so i'm guessing this battery pack right here just had an awful battery life and that's attributed to this guy just being a really junk cell these two are still working so once I find out the actual capacity of these, then we'll see what I want to do with these cells. Basically, I'm going to be doing testing all of these just to see how many bad cells I have. I'll be taking the good cells and making power banks out of them, and the bad cells are going to be junked. I'm also going to be buying some good quality Samsung cells and putting them into these uh, battery packs so then I can have a nice little army of M12 batteries. Oh, I forgot to talk about these two. Um, these are unlabeled batteries, or the cells are unlabeled, kind of like these guys, just unlabeled. I don't know anything about them. And I'll have to take those apart last too. I bought a spot welder, so that's coming in the mail soon, and we'll be just building battery packs the correct way and kind of analyzing what's wrong with all these Vannin batteries. So far, the only good ones are these 2.5 amp hour ones, but they're also not good for power tools, they're just good for lights. So stay tuned for more videos and thank you guys for watching.